A man charged with killing his girlfriend is sentenced to 40 years in prison. WKYT was the only news outlet in the courtroom when that sentence was handed down. And WKYT's Jessica Umbro has more from Rowan County and reaction to the sentencing. In June, Gary Jeffries pleaded guilty to murdering his girlfriend, Jill Clayton, and hiding her body. And now he is set to begin his 40-year sentence. Each day you sit locked in an institution growing older and feebler and more decrepit by the second is another day the world is free to forget all about you. For four years, the family of Jill Clayton has waited for any sense of closure. This was an act of self-serving, little man-boy anger followed by groups of depravity. This was not an isolated incident. This is simply the crescendo in a life of selfishness and cruelty. The murder took place around Thanksgiving in 2020, and Jill didn't show up to the family Thanksgiving dinner. For a week, Jill's family searched for her, and a week later, her body was found in an area near Wolf Hollow Road in Moorhead. You sat by, playing dumb, and forced us to search for her, knowing she was out there in the cold. That is just as egregious as the act of ending her life. The court sentenced Jeffries to the previously agreed upon 40 years in prison and for Jill Clayton's family, a partial sense of closure. Everything always goes back to when the trial is over or when he's sentenced. I feel like we can finally have some closure on that aspect and just move forward on remembering her and all of the positive things. Jeffries did not speak at the sentencing and despite the stern words from Catherine, Jill's sister, his face remained stoic throughout. In Rowan County, Jessica Umbro, WKYT.